In this fourth installment of the FlexNet Manager Suite five-part tour, we're going to take a look at SAP License Management, specifically how to assess your named user license position and optimize licenses based on how each SAP user is accessing and using the SAP landscape. When we access the SAP Compliance Dashboard in FlexNet Manager for SAP applications, it reveals the current license position. The green bar shows how many licenses are owned and the gold bar shows how many are being consumed. So, as it stands right now, we can see that there is a compliance issue with SAP. But we can explore further with FlexNet Manager for SAP applications and get even more information. The dashboard also shows that we've been able to optimize our SAP named user license assignments and as a result of optimization, there is actually a surplus of licenses available. Let's drill into this and show how SAP optimization works. On the next screen, you can see the license ratio required per contract. Here, we can assess current contractual obligations in terms of SAP license ratios and optimize current user license types. Next, you can look at your current SAP license position. In this case, you can see close to 1,300 users are currently defined within SAP. But when you look at what is actually being used, you can see there's room for optimization. The first key piece of information that we see from viewing the current license position data is that a number of current SAP users have not logged into SAP in quite a while. In this example, the organization faced a recent divestiture that saw a reduction in overall employee number. This view lets us know we can retire a number of licenses, so we aren't paying for a full license for employees who are no longer with the company. If the organization had faced a merger, this would be the place to find out how many new employees are not accounted for in your SAP contract and address that issue as well. Further down on this page, we can see the results of our optimization. In this view, the four columns in the middle tell the story. We can see our current license position by looking at the first two columns, purchased and consumed. The consumed number is based on the current named user license assignments in the SAP landscape. Then we can view the optimal and contractual counts. This represents our optimized remix of user license type assignments to our existing users. Note the drop in license consumption and the surplus that it creates for the higher cost professional and limited professional licenses. FlexNet Manager for SAP Applications has analyzed each SAP user's transaction history and applied a set of business rules to determine which license type best meets that user's needs at the lowest possible cost. For example, we can potentially reduce consumption of professional licenses from 351 to 30. While our optimized license type assignment has greatly reduced the number of pro licenses that we need, we still need to take into account our contractual ratio mix of 50-50. The contractual column reveals that the newly optimized remix is 69 pro licenses and 68 limited pro licenses. You can optimize your license position even further by looking for user accounts created in your various SAP instances that may in fact belong to the same person, allowing you to consolidate these duplicate users into a single SAP user. SAP has another common license model, package licensing that typically layers on top of named user licensing. FlexNet Manager for SAP applications can help you manage package licenses too. This allows organizations to effectively manage all of their SAP software spend rather than just a segment of it, which is commonly the case for other tools. Its SAP Product Use Rights Library has built-in rules for calculating package licenses for more than 200 SAP modules. Over the last year or so, a major focus of SAP audits has centered on the issue of indirect access and making sure that you have purchased a license for each of your employees that has indirect access to SAP data. For example, if you have an application that uses information from SAP and then generates emails containing SAP data to some employees, the recipients of these emails will need an SAP named user license, even if they are not directly logging into SAP. FlexNet Manager for SAP Applications enables organizations to discover indirect access and to optimize the license requirements of indirect access scenarios. The indirect access report illustrates the outcomes of this analysis. 
The first table shows the overall license position for the entire organization, which is then split into two parts. The license consumption due to SAP systems is basically what the organization's law report will produce, and the license consumption due to non-SAP systems shows the incremental consumption due to indirect access. In this example, there is a small incremental requirement for some professional user licenses. Further down, a full list of non-SAP systems is displayed and can be drilled through to understand the license consumption of each system. This drill through report shows the license consumption of a specific non-SAP system, Oracle Hyperion in this example. A summary of the license requirements of this system shows a small number of professional licenses. Further down, a list of Oracle Hyperion application users is shown, and you'll notice the number of users is much higher than the number of licenses that the system is consuming. FlexNet Manager for SAP Applications has determined that most of the application users also have SAP user accounts on one or more SAP systems, and the licenses assigned to those accounts cover the indirect access license requirements for these users. For large enterprises with many non-SAP systems accessing SAP data, a single user might access SAP functionality through multiple SAP and non-SAP interfaces. Normalization of users across all SAP and non-SAP systems can result in a significant reduction in license consumption compared to analyzing each system in a silo. In the next section, we will cover the contract management, what-if analysis, and reporting capabilities of FlexNet Manager Suite.